Hello everyone. So this is an update um, regarding the uh, Austin Marathon on the 20th of February 2022. Um, it was a very good day for me and that was actually my first marathon where I actually um, uh, did sub five and the unofficial record for me was uh, four hours and 40 minutes. And yeah, I never thought I, I could do it, but I did it. Um, I wanted to review the kind of shoes that I wear during my races and even um, my practice runs. So usually I only have one pair for for everything for example like for practice runs and the actual race uh, initially that's what i was doing and then my friends were telling me you should get a pair for uh, a pair for running and then another pair for the actual race and i end up doing that and fortunately uh, for the race i was expected to um well i ordered the uh um, Nike uh, Vaporfly next percent something um, uh, recommended by my friend uh, my friends and because they've worn it and they said it was good and I bought it I was supposed to get it Friday before um, the race and it got delayed and I ended up getting it today which is in this box, still sealed, and I'm gonna do a review on it, and I'll do some reviews on the other ones that I have so far. So the for the non-trail racing, the green Nike shoe that I have, I believe it's called the Pegasus. Um, that one is only good for half a marathon. Um, they have suggested, my friends have suggested that, yeah, it's good for a half marathon, and I, I totally agree. Um, I started feeling pain on my left foot at mile 20. Um, as I said in my um, Austin Marathon video, and I believe there's a reason for that. Um, if I was doing a half marathon, I would have been okay. I would actually probably would have been able to beat my um, half marathon time. Previously, I did one at, um, I want to say, yeah, it was in Dallas. And my my time was two hours and two minutes or four minutes. And I only wore <laughs> my day-to-day -day Nike shoes, which is not even um, a racing shoe. So I can only imagine if I have the right kind of shoes which I've seen that it has improved and I know I could do it, that I would do a, a sub two for a half marathon. I, I know that for a fact. Unfortunately, I didn't have a GoPro at the time. Um, but yeah, so definitely get the right um, shoes for specific runs, uh, race. For a half marathon, I would recommend like uh, the Pegasus because that's the only shoes that I've worn so far um, so if you're going to do a, full, a marathon don't run on those in my opinion um, I've experienced a lot of pain on my joints and um, of course you know like it's a race it's a run like if you're in mile 20 you go to you have to like suck up all the pain and like do it and just just go through all with it um get to the finish line so the so let's talk about um the other kind of um shoes that i have before i open the, the vapor fly uh, box so i have um two pairs of trail trail running shoes one is by nike uh, i think it's called air zoom that one I use it for um, practice runs, and uh, recently when I did the um, 
Ra uh, Huka Rocky Raccoon 100K uh, race. I was using the Huka One One. I forgot which one it was called. Um, I'll link it in the description. Um, so I was using that, and surprisingly, I was I was actually better off with that than the Nike. I thought it would be Nike, but during my practice runs, I I, I felt that the Huka Une Une was more comfortable and. Uh, has a lot of durability and um, supportive for my knees and feet and all of that. That's why I choose to wear it. And yeah, I based on my experience, I was able to do 60K, 67K with that shoe. So um, on my next 100K redemption, I will wear that same shoe again. Didn't have a pocket knife, so I had to use a key. <laughs> I'm excited about this because uh, I picked these colors and I think they look really cool in my opinion. I should know how to open the box. There it is, Nike. So, this is the color I choose. Show it to you in a little bit. So these are, yep, X back Nike Nike Zoom X. That's what it says. You even get the percent on there. I don't know. So this is what I got. And I'm going to be wearing this on my next marathon and see if I can beat my time from yesterday. I have a feeling I will. So I have to break this in, in um, break this in for a couple runs and see how it goes. I'm excited. These are the most expensive shoes I've ever owned. <laughs> And wow, it's a lot of uh, airways. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, those are airways, breathable. I think the colors are cool. So, oh, duh, I forgot. I I, I had that on there. <laughs> I, I named it expect, you know, expect, whatever. So, I was like, who is expect? So I, I remembered this was my decal. Um, I, I choose to put it on there because since it was customizable. Yeah, um, the colors are very sharp. Like from what I saw on the website, it's like it's the actual color from what I'm seeing in real life. So here it is. Um, it's been talked a lot on the internet that this is a really good shoes for long distance um, running. So for the first time in my life, I have a pair and uh, one of these and I'm excited. So you'll be seeing me in these uh, shoes on my next marathon. So until then, I'll, well, I'll, I'll do a review on um, how I feel about these shoes when I actually use it. So. Yeah, for now, um, I have no reviews on this other than it looks cool, very freaking expensive. Um, yeah, expect. Uh, <laughs>